I did my part to make sure y'all don't do nothing stupid. Hey, sugar babes. Today, I am going to show all my she, he's, and they's how I tint my eyebrows. Um, I haven't done it in a while. As you can see, they look like they are barely there. This is an old, old um, hack that I learned probably in 2018, 2019, maybe. Um, dyeing your eyebrows using hair club just for men. I mean, hair club. <laughs> using just for men um, beard dye. And I'm just going just gonna to show you how I do that. Do I have everything I need? Yeah, so let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my spoolie and brush my eyebrows up. And then I will take a, um, what's this called? A groomer, brow groomer. And I will just make sure that my eyebrows are where they I get all the stray hairs and stuff so that they don't get caught up in the mix. So, um, I'll be right back while I go and do that because y'all don't need to see that, right? I mean, y'all know how to groom your eyebrows, right? Okay, now that I've gotten all the little stray hairs, I'm going to take... Damn, I got bit by a mosquito in it. Man, it is itching. Anyway, so the things that you are going to need... A spoolie, some brow groomers, some makeup wipes, makeup remover wipes, some cuticle sticks, Vaseline, Q-tips, and of course you're just for me. So now that I've already groomed, what I'm going to do is take a Q-tip and I'm going to outline my eye where I don't want the um, dye to get on my skin, right? You don't want it to get just like, ooh, I put it on my eye. So uh, just like when you dye your hair, if you dye your hair at home and don't go to um, a professional, you're going to put the... Um, you're going to use Vaseline so you don't get dye on your, uh, your, around your skin. And because I have 50 year old eyes, I'm using my magnifier. So it's a travel magnifying glass. I'm using that to make sure that I get completely just the skin and not the hair on my, not the hair on my eyebrows. And if you get any on your eyebrows, you know you can just wipe it off. Ooh. Which is exactly what I just did. If you get some on your, if you get some on your um, eyebrows, just use the other end of the Q-tip to wipe it clean. But I just want to make sure that I don't get any dye on my skin, cause that'll you you gonna really look crazy. You gonna look like that that dog. Look like his eyebrows painted on. Y'all seen that little picture of that dog? And if you want, you can soak it in some witch hazel. Soak the other end in some witch hazel to um, make sure that the, um, the Vaseline isn't on your eyebrows. I mean, I guess you could use alcohol. I just don't like putting alcohol anywhere near my face because it's so drying and I already have dry skin. So, um, I'm not... I'm not putting anything that has alcohol near my skin. So I use witch hazel or my slur water. All right. So now that that's done. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell y'all y'all need? Because you, you're not going to use the brush that comes in the package. 
you need to use a small angle brush, the kind that you use when you do your eyebrows in the morning or when you do your eyebrows. And I'll be right back because I forgot mine. So this is what I use. I use the e.l.f. small angle brush to um, do my eyebrows. Here's the little that comes with the little instruction packet and tells you exactly what you do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the color base and the developer and you're going to draw equal lines in your little the little tray that they give you so I'm gonna do you don't need that much because you're doing your eyebrows it's not like you're doing your head or beard if well I mean if you're one of my if you're one of my he's and they's then you might um you might be doing a beard I don't know but this is just for uh we're just doing eyebrows so I'm not I'm not um you don't need that much So, this is what it looks like. That's all I'm using. And then I will use the little brush that comes in the kit and I'm going to mix that up. I love the way it smells. I will tell you that it smells really good. It's not going to have a little strong. It does, I mean, it does help if you're going to be putting it on your, um, on your, your beard and then for, for, and then if you're going to be putting it on your eyebrows, so. It has a nice perfumey smell. Anyway, so it's going to darken as it goes. You know that. So I'm going to take my little thing here. And I'm going to start putting on the color. Kind of like how you do if you were doing your eyebrows every day. You're just going to use light strokes. You know what I like about this um, <clears throat> this um, brush is that it is actually the full width of my eyebrows up and down, so I can go across and I won't I won't go outside the line because this is the perfect width of my eyebrows. So if you have thicker eyebrows, you just got to be a little bit careful. Wider, thicker, however you want to say it. Alright, so once you have it on there, you're going to wait five minutes minimum, maximum ten, I say. I mean, eight to ten minutes, depending on how dark you want them. I do mine for like 10 minutes because five minutes it doesn't get them dark enough for me so I do them for uh, I, I have it hold on there for um, for 10 minutes and of course disclaimer do your skin test I don't want nobody coming back to saying girl I tried what you did and I burnt my eyebrows off or I burnt my skin please do a skin test don't just go half it, go all in, and you don't even know if this stuff is going, um, you're going to have a reaction to it or not. So, be smart about it. Please. I did my part to make sure y'all don't do nothing stupid. But anyway, this is what I use the cuticle sticks for. Um, I just go and make sure that my lines are straight. That's what I use the cuticle sticks for. I just make sure that everything is completely straight. That's all. Uh, I use the cuticle sticks for. So now you're going to wait five minutes, 10 minutes, 
eight minutes, however long you need. Like I said, please do your, please do a, a skin test because I don't want you to come in here talking about I made you uh, burn your eyebrows off or you burned your skin because it was too strong. Do a skin test. I know what's good for my skin. I know what I can and cannot handle. Do a skin test before you do all that. I don't want none of y'all coming back to saying I ruined your face. So that's 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 my disclaimer. All right. Sorry about the water running, but I was renting out the little thing, uh, the little tray. So, anyway, wait your allotted time to get it is to to make sure that it adheres to your hair and gets it the color that you want. Like I said, I'm gonna wait. Um, I wait ten minutes for mine, so I'm gonna wait ten minutes, and I will be back. Okay, and this is where the makeup wipes come in. I use these to get the to get the dye off. So just take a makeup wipe because they tell you wash it, but we're not trying to wash this, and we don't want to get in our eyes. So I just take a wipe. And bam, I have now dyed my eyebrows at home instead of paying somebody a bazillion dollars. Well, not a bazillion, I'm over exaggerating, but you know what I mean. It's still a lot of money for somebody to dye your eyebrows when you can do it at home. And there you go. Eyebrows are, as y'all young kids say, on fleek. But anyway, eyebrows are done. That is it. I'm going to move in so you can see how they look. They are dyed. And every time I wash, some will come off a little bit. But that's why you have the little kit. Doesn't You, you don't use all of it in one shot. And as you can see, my eyebrows are dyed. I don't have thick eyebrows to begin with, but you know, at least now when I dye them, you can see them if I don't put any, um, if I don't put any makeup on. So, thanks guys for watching and comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time. Bye.